Yes, yes, we've read all of the comments and finally we're getting our hands on one of these cars. And we do agree that it's an amazing tuner car, but with that, it's a very underrated car in general. The whole package is just very, very intriguing. Today, we're reviewing a tuned Ford Figo TDCI. Before we get into the tuning and all of the work that has been done onto the car, let me just quickly talk about the design and how the Figo looks because especially after this generation or this facelift came out, the Figo just looked amazing in my opinion. Super compact dimensions, you know, really muscular uh, design elements everywhere. I love the way the headlights look, the grille, the tail lights. I mean, it's just a very nice looking car. There's nothing wrong about it. And especially uh, this particular car looks really nice because it's been stanced out on uh, Cobra lowering springs which have been tuned for the Fiesta ST uh, suspension setup. So, you know, it just looks really, really nice and I'm pretty sure this thing will handle really well because Fords are known for that. And especially after, after the lowering springs, the center of gravity has dropped down even more. So it should feel like a little go-kart in the corners which is going to be really fun. Uh, apart from that, yeah, even if it looks compact and, you know, looks really nice, uh, Ford hasn't compromised the inside cabin space at all. It's a pretty roomy uh, interior, you know. It's not like the Polos where the back seats are basically non-existent. It's a very practical and a very dailyable little hatch. So, let's not waste time. Open up the hood and I'll talk about what all has been done to it. So, now let's talk about the engine and what all work has been done. So, this thing stock comes with a 1.5 litre turbo diesel engine called the TDCI. And stock, it makes 99 bhp and 215 nm of torque, which is pretty alright considering that the Figo weighs around anywhere between 900 to 1000 kg. So, that's a pretty good amount of power for a car this light. But after all of the mods the owner has done, which includes an EGR delete, a Borla catback exhaust system and a stage 1 remap from GT tuners. This thing now makes 140 HP and 300 Nm of torque, which is quite a lot for a car this light. So, I can't wait to see how it goes down the road. So unfortunately, we weren't able to film a driving sequence for the Figo because our cameras ran out of juice by the end of it. So here is a brief as to what it was. The main thing, like most diesels, is the torque. The relentless, undeniable pulling force that is torque hurls the Figo TDCI like no other car. Yes, maybe a Polo TDI is somewhat comparable, but the Figo is lighter, so it feels like more of a rush. The 300nm of torque paired with the slick 5-speed manual gearbox is a real treat to drive and the fun chassis and handling of the Figo makes it even more engaging. Let it be in a straight line or in a corner. Coming to the price of building a Figo TDCI to this exact spec, here is the price breakdown of a Stage 1 Ford Figo build. So the Stage 1 remap courtesy of GT tuners cost 25,000 rupees. More or less any tuner will roughly charge the same amount of money. Coming to the Borla XS Pro muffler, that cost 25k plus welding so that will vary from shop to shop. The Cobra lowering springs for the Figo cost another 25,000 and these Ford wheels are also not standard on this particular car. So they costed the owner about 40,000 rupees. The EGR delete is more of labor work and then including it in the map. So there isn't a straightforward way to calculate that. So combine all of the information that I just gave you, you can have this super fun Figo built to stage 1 spec in just 1.15 lakhs. Pretty affordable and to just convert it into a stage 2, you need a downpipe and a performance air filter which costs maybe another 30 to 40k. In conclusion, this Ford Figo is an awesome build plus it has super affordable mods. Moreover, Figos are easy to find in the market on sale. Ever since Ford has left the country, people have been selling their Fords left, right and centre. But there is nothing to worry about since Ford has some great after-sale support and there isn't any real shortage of parts or servicing. So if you're in the market for a Polo TDI, think again and explore the option of the Ford Figo. 
because it is fun to drive and affordable to run, maintain and modify. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, give GT Tuners a follow and the owner of the Ford Figo and I will catch you in the next one.